land forms of the world so children first we will understand what are land forms so the natural features of earth surface are known as land forms there are different features that make up the earth surface as we have seen that earth is not uniform everywhere at some places it rises high while at other places it is flat so there are different landforms of the world but the four major landforms are mountains as you can see on the screen plains then there are plateaus and the de desert so at first let's know what are mountains so mountains and hills are rocky masses of land that are higher than the surroundings i'm quite sure that you all must have seen mountains or hills at some places or the other so the main difference between mountain and hill is that mountains are high they have steep slope that means they are highly inclined and they have high peak as you can see in the picture also that these mountains are very high their slope is steep and also their peak is very high on the other hand hills are smaller they have very gentle slope and their peaks are not so high you can see the picture of the hills on your screen now children you must have also seen that the mountains or hills occur in long rows and these long rows of mountains are called mountain ranges the himalayas which is in the north of the india is the highest mountain range in the world valleys so what are valleys valleys are the low land between hills or mountains as you can see on the screen how a valley looks like valleys are formed when water from the glaciers take away rocks on mountains famous valley of india are the kashmir valley and the brahmaputra valley now passes what are passes so children mountains have low natural gaps in between them and these natural gap in between the mountains are known as passes people cross the mountains through these passes only the khyber pass which is in the himalayas it connects afghanistan and pakistan next plateaus another landform of the world are plateaus first of all look at the screen that how a plateau look like plateau are large area of land which is higher than the surrounding area the plateaus are usually located at higher places but these plateaus are flat at the top these look like plains only for example the deccan plateau in south this deccan plateau in south covers almost the entire indian peninsula even the tibetan plateau which is in the himalayas is the highest plateau in the world the tibetan plateau which is in himalayas is also known as the roof of the world now deserts what are deserts deserts are large area of land that are extremely dry there is very little rainfall in desert area and that is why there very few plants grow deserts have extreme temperature because the sun present in the desert get heated very fast as well it it cools down very fast so deserts are extremely hot in summers during the day and cool during the night because as i told you that the sand cools down very fast as well as it gets heated very fast the few important deserts of the world are the sahara desert in north africa it is the biggest desert in the world the kalahari desert in southern africa the atacama desert in south america and the thar desert in india next plains 
what are planes let us know about planes so flat area of land are known as planes planes also have slope but the slope of the planes are very gentle planes are very fertile crops grow well in plain areas and therefore planes are most thickly populated areas in the world now what are coast the place where the land meets the sea is called a coast as you can see on the screen this area is known as the coast next what is peninsula so a land mass which merges into the sea and the land which is surrounded by water on three side is called peninsula as you can see on the screen that the southern part of our country is a peninsula you know the tip of the peninsula is called cape and the southernmost tip of the indian peninsula is called cape comoran so next what is bay so bay is a water body which is surrounded by land on three sides right so peninsula was a land surrounded by water on three sides but bay means a water body which is surrounded by land on three sides for example the bay of bengal which is in the eastern coast of india next island so island is a land mass which is surrounded by water on all the sides that means the land mass which is surrounded by water on all the four sides that is known as island sri lanka is an island andaman and nicobar island in the group of bay of bengal are the group of island which are a part of india next rivers so rivers are the long stream of water so the flowing water in streams is known as river you know children many rivers start in the mountains and the rivers which start in the mountains from the melting snow in glaciers these have water throughout the year they never go dry and the rivers which have water throughout the year they are known as perennial rivers most rivers in north india they are perennial rivers only but few rivers are formed by rain water and they do not have water throughout the year their water dry up most and these are rivers are known as seasonal rivers most of the rivers in south india are seasonal rivers and you know children so rivers ultimately flow into the sea now what are tributaries so as we know that rivers always flow so during the flowing time of the river or during the course of the river several small rivers join together and they form the main river so the small rivers which join together they are called the tributaries of the main river then what are distributaries so rivers before entering into the sea they become very slow and they got distributed into small small rivers or stream they got distributed due to the sediments which are carried by a river and the channels or the small streams into which the rivers get break up these are known as distributary of the main river now what are delta so when distributaries spread out like a triangle as shown on the screen right on the screen you can see various distributaries of the river so when these distributaries spread out like a triangle before falling into the sea such region is called delta so the delta made by the river brahmaputra and the river ganga is the largest in the world so children these were the few landforms of the world i hope you enjoyed watching the video and the video was informative for you all happy learning children